Hello and welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy and today I'm going to show you how to make this rose quartz and Swarovski necklace. So we're going to start with our seven strand cable wire. There's 50 centimeters here that I've pre-cut. You then want to start with a crimp bead and we're going to put that onto our cable wire. Thread a Mayuki seed bead, size 11, followed by a pink Swarovski crystal in a four millimeter. Also, I'm going to add a beautiful rose quartz faceted eight millimeter bead. I'm going to repeat the sequence on the other side and once again add a crimp bead. I'm going to take the two ends of my wire together and just run my hands down so I can find the center point of my wire. Using a pair of flat nose pliers I'm just going to crush the crimp bead and to make it easier just swap that round so I can get from the other angle. Once the crimp beads are crushed, the beads no longer move along the wire. That's my starting point. I'm then going to thread another crimp bead to the right hand of my center. And I'm going to use my flat nose pliers to crush the crimp bead into position. I'm going to use a two centimeter gap between these. So I'm just going to firmly crush the crimp bead and then I start the pattern again. I've just added a crimp bead at the top of this and once again I'm just going to crush that using the flat nose pliers just be cautious not to catch the glass seed bead as this will crack. I'm going to repeat this now two more times on this side and then I'm going to swap to my left hand side. Once I've finished working to the right, to make it easier for myself, I just swap that round. Obviously, if you're, going to, if you're left handed, just work to whichever side's comfortable. And I'm just starting the same, exactly the same on this side.
So now I have my necklace beads all on the wire and I've finished the process. I'm going to choose the length I want. I'm going for about 16 inch on this one. And once I've got the desired length, I'm going to cut using a pair of side cutters the excess wire from the necklace. Just a nice firm crush will take those off. And we're going to add the collot onto the cable wire. So you want to take your collot, which has a very fine hole at the bottom, and you're going to go through the hole with the wire, making sure the hook is facing upwards in order to attach to our sterling silver fastener. So we're going to let that fall down the wire for the moment and then add a crimp to the end of the cable. Because we've chosen our length, we're just going to crush that as close to the end of the wire as we can, really making sure it's secure onto the wire so it shouldn't move. I'm also going to repeat this firstly on the other side before showing you the next step. So up through the collot, let that fall out of your way, add your crimp bead onto your wire and then with your flat nosed pliers, oops just jumped off, we're just going to crush that flat. So a nice firm crush to secure that on the end of the wire. Your collot's now going to come up to go around the crimp and you just want to close the two sides of the collot together encasing the crimp inside and that's nice and secure on the end. So we'll just do that on this side as well. So come up to the crimp bead and you just want to close the two sides together. So we've almost finished and we're just going to add our fastener. I hold the collot so the hook's facing upwards and put the jump ring on the edge of my finger. Using the flat nose pliers, just gently tease the hook onto itself and ensure there's no gap. And then do the same on the other side. And just gently tease this over as well so that there's no gap. Securing the fastener into position. And that will give you your completed crimp necklace. We hope you've enjoyed this project today and we look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye.